Hey guys, Crow here, and I'm here to show you logic gates. Yes! Everyone loves these in Minecraft, don't you? Alright, so recently on Reddit, someone showed off their AND gate, I believe. And here's an image on screen of it. And it was not very compact. It was two pistons stacked in front of each other, and then it had an empty space, then a sensor block, then the block for the sensor to sit onto, and of course the wall that attaches the sensor to the actual system. And that's a total of 14 blocks in the system, which isn't very compact if you want to hide it away for a small little system. So I challenged myself to build a, as compact of a system as possible for all of the gates. And here we have all of the gates. We have the AND gate, we have the NAND gate, we have the OR gate, the NOR gate, the XOR gate, and the XNOR gate. And we're going to go ahead and show off what they do. Now I try to make this as easy as possible for you guys to understand. Then including, like, if you download it. So if you don't want to watch this video, see me show off the stuff, you can go ahead and click the link the, in the description below. You can go ahead and download it, check it out yourself. But I made this as simple as possible. Left button is the A. And also, if, go, hold on. If I go ahead and click on this, click show on HUD, turn that on, it will enable the show which stuff does which. So, the left button triggers the timer block, which triggers the piston A, and the B switch is on the right, which triggers the timer block and the piston B, and goes to the B output. So, as simple as possible, go ahead and turn this off because I don't need it. And also, everything doesn't need a jetpack, it just jump around through everything, pretty much, unless you jump off the edge like I did. So, this is the compact section over here. We have the alternate section and if we go ahead and jump over here we have the uses section which I'm hoping on adding more over time to show off more uses this is just a simple starting gate so let's go ahead and head back to the beginning and thank you for joining me wide we're gonna go ahead and show off these gates so all of these first four gates are exactly the same same with the alternate they don't need to be different, they are literally same exact measurements, everything physically, they are complete copies. Now, the difference between them is the sensors, and of course the starting positions for those gates over there. So, these first two, go ahead and cycle through, show off what this does. So this only triggers when both of them are on, that is the AND gate, and that is because when these are these are off, this is pulled back and this is pushed forward to make it farther away. And the only way this will activate is when these are this one's contracted, this one's extended, which will trigger this. Now if we head over to the NAND gate, this is the exact opposite, which means it will, if you go ahead and cycle through, only trigger when both of them are not on. Which means if one of them on or both of them are off. So, the way this works is exactly the same, except in this sensor, if we go ahead and look inside, and click OK, Setup Actions, this toggles it off when it enters, and toggles it on when it exits on the output. The one over there is the exact opposite, where when it enters, it toggles it on, and when it exits, it toggles it off. Now, over here, on the OR gates, we have pretty much the exact same, of course, but the positioning of this, I believe, like the first one, is the opposite, so that when you go ahead and cycle through, and this OR gate will only toggle trigger when it has power in general, so whether one is on or both is on, it will be power, when both of them are off, it will be off. So of course it is the exact, um, just one of the pistons is reversed, and we have the sensor. This, of course, the NOR gate is, like I said earlier, the exact same over there, even with the piston's reverse state, but the sensor's state is the opposite of positioning of the OR gates. This is where things get more advanced, the XOR gate and the XNOR gates. Now with these, they have to have a middle position. This is why I created the alternate section, because this is where I originally started off, because it works better with multiple stacks. But it does not work with these last two, um, set the, the logic gates, because they ha don't have any middle position, I guess you could say. So, the way these work is, this first, um, sensor over here, it only goes up to right about, like, right before here. So if this piston was to extend, it would enter that field and trigger. 
but when this is this is always triggered even when it's contracted but when this is extended further it will exit the field making another state so these two sensors combined have three states um, into the first field in the middle field and the outer field so if you go ahead and cycle through this XOR gate you'll see that it will only trigger when both are off or both are on because it triggers A again and both are on that is because it is cycling through um, like right now it's in the middle no it's on the outer stage so if you go ahead and switches both switches then we'll see that it extends into the middle stage that it actives to let it know it's in the middle and now they're on the inner stage which lets it activate again and that's pretty simple now these they're not anything different than those they're just fields saying that to turn off so when it exits the field it turns off and then when this senses that it enters the field it will turn it on now this of course is the exact same as that see so with all the settings and stuff except that these are swapped up pretty much not swapped up but um, i mean like the um I guess you could say swapped up. Like, when it enters the field, if you go ahead and cycle through, right now, it is in the middle stage, which means it's on, so don't click anything. So, oh, nope, I got it wrong. Go ahead and click it again. Alright, so now it's, yeah, so it's just the sensor, so it middle field means it's always off, but this, um, the lights are switched to match the, the XNOR gate, so, yeah, that's simply how it is. And these alternate gates are the original design I had until I had to switch to the new system to match and line up with everything. Oh, forgot to say. Um, original system, I don't remember if I forgot to say, but the original system on Reddit, he uses a 14 area system. This is 6. Much more improved. And also, these timer blocks do not count as being part of the system, and that is because these are only required if you require to have output or, um, identification like lights I guess you could say so and the the output light does not require one unless you want an actual output being sent and you can set it to the light and the output source that triggers the event but these lights only are using this to like when you click these buttons it triggers the block and then it'll trigger that block triggers the light and the piston so you don't need it to you can just have it trigger the piston and next we have the alternate section. This is where it's able to be stacked as far as you want it to be. And the way these work is if he goes ahead and, goes ahead and toggles it, it will retract. And if he toggles both off, then it will deactivate sending the signal, or turn them on, yeah, and sending the signal to turn this on. Of course, it's the exact same, except that it will make it where when it ent exits the field, then yeah, in, the, or in this case, it enters a the field, then it will turn on. And, of course, the same system, you kind of get the point. It's the same as over there. And here we have the wonderful starting gate that I created, and the, ex the uses section. Because examples was too long, and I was lazy after building all this. Because it's pretty difficult doing it when fields don't work at the moment, but, yeah. If you download it right now and go ahead and try to see the fields it's probably not going to work until a feature update it's current but i can't see it either but we're gonna work with it anyway these here are our sensors when we go on top it will show that we are ready to race and if all these are activated it will go ahead and start the ready set go timer and pull down the finish or start line or it gets to get also be a finish line if you choose to now, so I don't have to keep recording this section all over again, and stay away from these sensor blocks. You do not want to get near the sensor box underneath of it because it will screw it up. So, make sure you don't do that. Anyway, when you go on top of the lights, it will activate the first one, which will trigger the this timer block right here, which will turn on the light, and it will also retract this piston right here. When all these are, and it's the same thing with all these, once all these are retracted, it will deactivate that sensor which triggers the ready set go timer blocks which of course in conjunction whatever you say my good grammar start the timer with two seconds between each light and it will pull down the gate as fast as possible for you to start the race when you leave the blocks these uh when you leave the the lights these blocks will untrigger the light and you will say that you're not ready to race 
So, if we go ahead and want to start up the race, I'm going to go ahead and drop my fake characters. This is my little buddy, Mr. Welder. He's going to go ahead and sink into the light. I'm going to go ahead and drop Mr. Handrail. Yep, he, he's a pretty heavyweight runner. And go ahead and step on the light for me. Now we have three ready. Once I step on this, it will trigger the ready, set, go. So it's red, then it's yellow, and then it is green. And we go. And it, <laughs> as wire falls out of existence. So the way we reset this is if all the, well, if he would get back up here. I don't know what happened to him. But if he did get up here, then I would go ahead and stand on this. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop my... Fred, Mr. Grinder, he likes to grind a lot of people. Oh, never mind. Uh, go ahead and step on the last light, and that will disable the system unless you want. He loves to break it. All right, go ahead and get off of it. Get off. Get off. Okay, thank you. So that is how you reset the system, unless you want to set up a another like trigger that will just reverse everything instantly. But I was too lazy. I'm sorry. I'll probably do it tomorrow if you want. And that sums up the entire wonderful parade, mar car the carnival of, like, logic gates. Yes, so much fun. So much logic to be had. So, remember, if you want to download this, link's in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. Don't forget that if you are confused on how these things work, go ahead and click K on here. Show on HUD, turn it on. And you can see the names of the pistons. Piston A, Piston B and the timer block A and B, and funny thing that's unimportant is all blanked out for you. So, this is as easy as it gets for me trying to teach you guys how these gates work, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't, don't forget to dislike and leave a hate comment and stuff. And if you want to see more videos like this, Epic Machinima stuff, I'm also working we're trying to work on a large series, Mission of a Series, so if you're interested in that, you can either help me out make it by leaving me a message, or you can subscribe and hope for the best when it finally arrives in your inbox or wall feed or whatever, whatever Google wants to call it. Um, so yes, that's all for now. Hopefully you enjoyed your time here. Download the map, share with your friends, import these into your world, make epic creations like that the starting gate over there, you can make password things, whatever you want. And yep, yeah, that sums it up. You wanna say goodbye, Wired? Maybe. Alright, uh, he, he yeah, he's saying goodbye that way. Yeah, goodbye.